three, two, one. Hello, everybody. My name is John Marshall. I'm the Chief of Hematology Oncology at Georgetown University and a GI oncologist and a friend of Chris for Life and an enemy of colorectal cancer. Happy Colon Cancer Awareness Month. I'm wearing my blue, getting all ready. I'm a little late, but I wanted to give everybody an update of what happened at this year's 2013 GI ASCO, we call it, Gastrointestinal Cancer Symposium. This is an annual gathering. This is the 10th annual gathering uh, that we've had. We're finally making some momentum, some headway um, in uh, colorectal cancer and GI cancers in general. We spend an entire day of this meeting dedicated to colorectal cancer. New data is presented. Um, and I wanted to give you a highlights of a few of the key elements that are out there. Most of the work went on in metastatic colon cancer, so stage four colon cancer, where the drugs, the medicines are being developed uh, in a way to try and improve things. And really two studies that are a nice contrast of oh, two ends of the spectrum. On one end of the spectrum, there was a trial that combined basically everything, oxaliplatin, arenatecan, 5-FU, and bevacizumab, full fox eerie bevacizumab, <coughs> versus just full theory bevacizumab, so sort of four drugs versus uh, three drugs. And in fact, the four drug recipe did better. I mean, people live longer, they had a better outcome. Um, the issue here, of course, is that um, uh, you spent more toxicity, you kind of spent all of your drugs up front. Um, and so we'll wait to see if this really translates into an overall survival benefit for those patients or they, did they just get all their drugs up front. So a nice tool to have better responses, better early benefit, but we need to see whether or not that translates into an improved outcome. On the other end of the spectrum done in Britain was a very interesting study of a much simpler design where still two arms in the trial, but half the patients got just capecitabine or Zalota, oral 5-FU, so one drug, and the other half just got two drugs, capecitabine plus bevacizumab or Avastin. Now, what's particularly interesting about this done in England is that this was done in older patients, so the over 65 crowd. We were expecting to see maybe more cardiovascular side effects, things like that. We didn't. But in fact, what we did see was that the combination of bevacizumab plus capecitabine performed very well, suggesting, if you will, sort of in the opposite end of the spectrum, um, that maybe we don't need to be quite so aggressive, not only in the elderly, uh, but also in all patients who have relatively indolent metastatic colorectal cancer. So we have a more aggressive tool, we have a softer tool, both of which are showing to have some uh, benefit uh, and appropriateness for certain patients. Now, the last piece I want to focus on, which has really begun to emerge and bubble up, is that we're beginning to sort colorectal cancer into its different molecular types. So they're not all the same, even though the pathology reports often read the same. Um, but we haven't been able to figure out which types are which. You know, in breast cancer, we talk about ER, PR, and HER2 positive, and triple negative. But we're beginning to get there in colorectal cancer, and some very smart people are doing some work sorting these tumors into their various types. The current estimate is that it's going to be somewhere around five to six different types. Once we get it down to that, it's going to really enable us to do some pretty neat things about different treatments for different patients, and that's when I believe we will start to see some major advances in the treatment of colorectal cancer. So, support organizations like Chris for Life. We need the money to do the kind of research that's enabling these kinds of discoveries to improve outcomes. Keep exercising, keep moving, get your colonoscopy, love your butt, as they say on Chris for Life, and stay out of my office. John Marshall, uh, hoping you have a great March. Three, two, one.